WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished up 16, NASDAQ up 57, S&P's up 9.5. You talk about summer trading, folks, anemic volume extraordinaire. And that didn't matter whether it's equity market, commodity market, or the debt market. Right now in the NYSE, you get $517 million. I suspect that's going to get up to about six fifty. but bottom line, that is anemic volume. We go into the uh, NASDAQ composite. Composite right now running at one7 uh, not That's not bad inside the composite. Gold contract. Gold contract uh, traded up uh, a couple dollars. You're at 14.25 an ounce. Silver up 23 cents, $16.42. Silver continues to get a really sweet uh, uh, bid, folks. Uh, what happened to the silver market last week? It took off like a rocket ship. Uh, what got reported out here this morning is that the money managers did come into the silver ETFs. Now, it's much better when they come into the ETFs versus the futures, and this is why. The futures are rolling over every three months. You go into the ETF market, bottom line, as you buy the ETF, the ETF sponsors have to buy the futures. Uh, that is telling me that they're going into this for a longer term expansion, and you can see why the silver metal as well as the equities took off like a rocket ship, because the next thing that they will do is that that was so cool about this. So you see, first you could simultaneously go into the ETF for the metal, you go into the ETF for the equities, it's so so small, most times any money manager would parlay one to the other to the other. It's driving, it's the driving force, driving momentum. Notes and bonds continue to want higher price. We have the 10 year up to uh, uh, two ticks, 127.17, 30 year up four, 154.28. Right now the 10 year is yielding 2.03. I expect what's game here is a 1.71. Uh, we know that the uh, end of the month, 30th, 31st, Fed, you get 100% probability that they're going to reduce the rates by one quarter percent. Uh, bottom line, in September, that'll be the next meeting. And in September right now, the probability for another one quarter percent is 64%. Now, that's been going down. That was, uh, bottom line, it was 68% this afternoon. Um, you know, uh, we had uh, last week the uh, half a point rate cut this coming meeting actually got over 50 percent bottom line the fed governors this week have to keep their mouth shut so the bottom line you're not going to hear anything until a statement on the 31st stay right there folks come right back